Hi, I'm Justin with Mason County PUD3, and this is my laundry room. My wife does a great job looking for ways for our family to save energy and reduce our monthly electric bill. Recently, she came across this little guy. It's called a dryer ball. It's made out of plastic and this one is shaped like a hedgehog. The manufacturer of this dryer ball claims that adding this to your dryer with a load of wet clothes will reduce your drying time. At Mason County PUD3, we are very interested in finding ways to help our customers save energy and reduce their energy bill. I'd like to run an experiment to see if this manufacturer's claim is correct. Here's how we're going to run the experiment. I have eight regular bath size towels. I'm going to put these towels in the washing machine and run them through a regular wash cycle. Then I'm going to move them over to the dryer and run it on a regular dryer cycle. I'm going to time how long they stay in the dryer until the dryer is done. Then I'm going to put them back in the washing machine and run them through another wash cycle. I'm then going to put them back into the dryer, but this time I'm going to add the plastic dryer ball. I'm going to time this cycle and see if the drying time is reduced by adding the dryer ball like the manufacturer claims. Let's take a look and see how it works. There we go. Okay, this is the control. We've got wet towels in there and we're going to run the drying cycle without the dryer ball. Remember to clean your lint filter before starting any loads in the dryer. Start the timer and we're off. This dryer has a sensor inside the drum that will be able to tell us when the clothes are dry and the dryer will stop working. This technology helps to reduce drying time so that you aren't continuing to spin already dry clothes. The manufacturer claims that this dryer ball also has a few non-energy benefits. They claim that these balls naturally soften clothes and replace the need for liquid fabric softener and dryer sheets. They also claim to reduce the amount of wrinkles, hopefully saving you time at the ironing board. Now my experiment is not going to be evaluating these aspects of the dryer ball, but it's something to consider if you're looking at purchasing one of these products. All right, so this is our control load at a little over 53 minutes to dry. So we're going to put them back into the washing machine and start the process all over again, this time with the dryer balls. <laughs> Second load is done here in the washer. Move them over to the dryer, all eight towels. I checked the dryer vent filter, cleaned it off, and we are going to add our dryer ball this time. And we'll see how it works. Get the stopwatch out and go. Well, you can hear the dryer ball in there banging around against the edge of the drum. And one of the theories on why these work to help reduce the dryer time is that it gets in there and it breaks up the, uh, the mound of clothes so that they don't get clumped together. So it spreads them out and allows the air to be better distributed amongst the clothes during the drying process. So that's one of the theories on why it works. We've got the timer going and we'll see how it turns out uh, in just a little bit. Okay, the results are in. This is the drying time with the dryer ball, 41 minutes. Let's open it up, take a look, make sure the towels are dry. Yeah. They're dry and all tangled up in them is our friend the dryer ball. 
So 12 minute reduction. Wow. Kind of impressive. Well, the results are in and this dryer ball was able to reduce my drying time and my two loads by about 12 minutes. So let's do a little bit of math and see what that means in energy savings. Uh, but first, let's talk about the cost of these dryer balls. Uh, I've seen them commonly sold in packs of two for about $6, which means that the dryer ball itself is about $3 for one. The manufacturer says that it lasts about two to five years or 10,000 loads. That is, assuming that you don't lose uh, this little dryer ball. So I have a 4,800 watt dryer here, and the Mason County PUD3 residential energy rate is approximately six cents per kilowatt hour. So in my 12 minute reduction, I'm saving approximately seven cents per load. So in order to uh, achieve the $3 that it costs to purchase this device, uh, I would need to do 43 loads of laundry. I need to dry 43 loads. So let's say I do four loads a week. Uh, that would be approximately 11 weeks or three months, let's say to pay for the dryer ball. So after the three months that, that it costs to purchase the device in energy savings, um, everything else is seven cents a load of kilowatt hours savings in your pocket. So uh, this little device uh, helps to save energy. Who would have thought? Well, now I've got a lot of laundry to fold. If you'd like to learn more about how Mason County PUD3 can help you save energy and reduce your monthly electric bills, you can go to www.masonpud3.org/saveenergy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.